LePage Corporation. It is the largest paper manufacturer in North America, with net sales two years ago of $3.6 billion. But after pillaging Nova Scotia woodlands for 50 years, it moved on, leaving its workers jobless and without benefits. The woodlot owners who supplied wood to the mill were especially hurt, most of them barely able to make ends meet. I did survive, but I mean, a lot of guys didn't survive, but I just kept at her, and uh, we were hauling to this other mill in Nogasco, but I mean, they didn't, they kept, they took total advantage of the prices. They kept dropping the price so low that you could barely do it, working for nothing, like basically the same now. Enter Pacific West Commercial Corporation from Vancouver, given $124.5 million by the Nova Scotia government. Money intended to revive the stricken industry and inject work back into the local economy. The community breathed a sigh of relief, but not for long. This wood here, before the mill shut down, was worth $51 a ton or a little over $100 per quart. Now, they're wanting to pay us $43 a ton, or, and it'll go lower to $40, we're told. After receiving $124 million from taxpayers, the new mill is now paying woodlot owners below the cost of production. Well, if we get back to $50 a ton, we got a little bit of profit there, not a great amount. Like at $53 I received uh, in 2011 for my wood, uh, it still cost me $48.50 a ton to produce it. I figured things were going to be better, but it's no better than it was before. It's worse now than ever. I mean, prices. Prices is the big thing. You got to look at the cost to do it and everything like fuel. And uh, I mean, I'm operating it myself, but still, fuel and hoses and oil and everything else and payments and working six and seven days a week and barely keeping everything going. Nobody seems to care. Woodlot owners in Cape Breton are fearful. They're losing hope. They can't survive much longer on the scraps Pacific West throws them. And they're running out of options. The reason why this wood is being produced is out of desperation. The contractor that is cutting it needs to make payments on his machinery and equipment. And he's only doing it to turn wheels to make the payments. There's no profit. I'm getting to the point that if somebody would come right now, I'd sell everything. I don't want to do it, no. But if I had to, I would. Well, it's a rough place to be because uh, if there's no industry, you can't even sell your gear. Like right now, the last two years, the forestry equipment at the auctions in Toro Ritchie Brothers auctions, and they have three or four of them a year, has been going for peanuts. Very low prices, so you can't afford to send your gear to the auction. Pacific West Commercial Corporation is another example of taxpayers' money that has gone to profit the company, but not the local workers. The government gives grants to two types of businesses, those who won't pay it back and those who don't need it. For example, they got $40 million forgivable loan and they paid $33 million for the mill. You do the math. They got $7 million in their pocket. So when you have that same company that says, we want your softwood, we want your wood for, to make paper, but we're going to pay you less than what, what you're receiving before the mill shut down, 